cracking everybody back with another one shout out to all my uh, regular viewers shout out to all my subscribers especially shout out to the channel members those who would like to support the channel through a channel membership I'll put the link in the description now I told you guys that uh, recently I've been um, watching a lot of these TikTok videos um, and I'm gonna show you one that I just saw right now. I just saw it now, and I and I commented in it. If you go over there, if you find this video, you'll see I just told him, "Hey, you'll be on my uh, on my YouTube channel for this one." Go ahead and check this video out, and then I'll speak on it at the other end of this. See that? I like that thought. Why not? Yeah, let's do that. I'm with that black, white, doesn't matter. All gangs, all, all, all criminal organizations, all racist, hateful organizations, any organizations that, you know, talk that talk, walk that walk. I'm with that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's say, uh, yeah, I'm with that. Absolutely. Would you think I was going to say something else? He's all for that. How many times did he say that? I'm all for that. What, you think I'm gonna, I was going to say something else? The fuck? And then you see he's got 399 likes. This is the stupidity. This is the type of fucking ignorance. That adversely affects our communities. Our families. Now, look, I'm not in the streets. But you look at me, people look at me and don't know that. You guys know that because we interact on this, right? But people walking down the streets, I told you guys before a long time ago when I used to do deliveries when I first got out. I had people that made, that put their order in. And I worked for a company called Deliv. And we would get you your merchandise within an hour, okay? So people would place their order or a TV, computer, whatever the fuck it was, and I would go and drop it off. They would know my name, they would get a picture of me, and wouldn't open the door, okay? So, but but we know I ain't in the streets. Now, when you have fucking idiots like this, I'm, let me, before I go there, I can't say that thinking like that is what leads us to becoming incarcerated. Because at the end of the day, the majority of the time, it is our actions that lead to our incarceration. The majority of the time. But there are many, many men and women who are behind bars, who have life sentences, who are on death row, that are innocent. I wish this dude wouldn't be blowing the fucking air right now. But I'm at work, and that's on me. Now, when you have people that think like that, right? So if, if this were to become, obviously it's not going to, but it's just the thinking to me. If this were to become a law, who, who decides who's a gang member and who's not? Because I would fall under it. Even though I'm working my ass off, I work six days a week. I'm paying my bills, I'm paying my taxes. I haven't been in the streets. But I would fall under that. Many of my subs, men and women, would fall under that. That idiot right there could fall under it. Because who would be deciding who a gang member is and who isn't? You know, that's, that's that thing, that whole Pandora's box. You got people that think like that, which is short term. Gang banging ain't even what it was in its heyday and now in this generation instead of when, when you know those of us who have lived that life know educating our youth giving them a means to understand their personal worth and their personal value that's what will stop this shit not locking them up I had no intentions of making a video today. 
But when I see shit like that, that shit really, it irritates me, man. And it irritates me to see that there are 300, over 300, almost 400 people that are like, that's a good idea. And this is a person of color. That's what makes it worse. For some reason, he keeps popping up on my feed. And he's, he's, he's got an extreme negative energy about himself. But, but you know, hey, that's his energy, which will affect him. But putting out content like that, I don't know, maybe he's a troll. I, I don't know. But you guys already know me. I'm constantly thinking about the men that I left behind. I wish, you know, I know JD from Prison Break Raw said, you know, when he got out, he was uh, gung-ho about trying to do prison reform and then things changed because nobody really wants prison reform. You know, I'm not even gonna go into all that. But, you know, I'm gonna try to, if, I, if that fucking video is still on my, on my feed right now, I'm gonna put the link to that video. And I'm asking you guys, even though it fucking he's, it's gonna count, it's gonna count as a view for him. I'm still asking that you guys get on there and you post a comment and let them know. That type of shit right there, that's for the birds. You know, it's amazing to me. Really, it shouldn't be, but it's amazing to me that in this day and age, where crime isn't what it was. Gang banging is not nowhere near what it was that we would have people that would think, yeah, let's make gangs, criminal organizations like gangs, neighborhood gangs, a national security threat. And then I went into the comments and it was naming specific gangs. And I'm sure the people that were naming the gangs are nowhere near the fucking areas where those gangs are at. I don't know, man. Let me know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think and how you feel about that video. Uh, with that, I'm out, man.